Hey guys, Dave Anderson here, Heli Cool Heli Pad. Hey, I am so sorry for taking so long to get these videos out to you. I know a lot of you have been waiting for the front 307 gear replacements and you've been waiting very patiently. So, so without any further of me yapping my jaws, how about we just get right into it? <laughs> Marking a zero. I've lost my glasses again. They're on your head. Your head. <laughs> Don't be pointing out the obvious when the merely obvious will do. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Put your hand up against here because we, we don't want it to jump right off because there's a whole bunch of little parts in there and there's oil in there. Oh, it's going to be right there. Oh, okay. It's like glued on there. Now, it starts to come off. Purple, yeah, metal safe. It's a GL4, right? <laughs> okay, you ready to play catch again? All right. Okay, I'll pop it out here. You want to keep your hands down in here because it'll fall off. Okay, it should come right out of there. And you can just set it right in there. It can just go right into the solvent washer. Let's see if we can get that one to come out of there. Now I want you to notice something. You see that pin, those holes there? Mm -hmm. Here's the shims that adjust the clearance in the planetary. That, those holes have to line up with this pin. So like on your trailer, if you wanted to get the planetaries off of there, you'd have to go get, I don't know how you do it because this isn't threaded long enough to put two nuts on there. So there's really no way to take the planetary out outside of taking the outside gear of it off so that it's not turning all this junk. So if you want to snag that up, I'll throw it right in the solvent washer. So Mike already loosened it up and now he's just removing it the rest of the way. What size is that socket, Mike? Do you know? Three and seven eighths. Holy mackerel. And it's? Eight sided. Eight sides. The two CTIS seals, when you've got the wheel bearing here, two CTIS seals, and then the wheel seal. And this should just... No. It right. will come off of there. Right. Come on like that. Just off the bearing. Thanks for telling me. <laughs> you got to be careful not to drag the CTIS seals across this because it destroys them. Let me just put that in the parts washer. All right. All right. We're going to be taking these out next.
Now I'm ready to catch. <laughs> you should be able to just grab it and lift it off of there. Now you're going to have to wiggle this around that. So you may have to twist it. There you go. Okay. That's a lot easier than taking that all apart. PSA. It's in the game. Public service announcement. If your CTIS is um, kind of a little bit acting funky, it might be that those lines are a little loose. You think? Well, I don't know. Mine was, both of yours in the front are. I don't know what the back are like. Yikes. Well, believe it or not, that's supposed to come right off. Okay. Well, it's uh, got it cracked an eighth of an inch. Got it now. Okay, you just slide it off. Okay, you should be able to grab that axle, line it up with the hole, and just slide that thing right out of there. Okay, pull. Get your fingers caught in it. There we go. It's out of there. Prep, 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 pro tip. Okay, guys, if you've seen my my video on lubes and how many um, Zerk fittings that there are, there were two that I couldn't actually get to. Here in the axle shaft is where that Zerk fitting is, and I can actually get to it now. So definitely before this goes back on, this is going to be greased. All right, so we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna take this off, tie rod, and move it out of the way so that we can get into this area and do what we need to do. But this has to be removed, or at least moved out of the way. A couple of good whacks right here with that sledgehammer. It dropped right on down. Way to go, Mike. Why are you impressed? I am. I was. I am. Thanks so much for joining me on this really cool build series. Next time will be, of course, part two. That's going to have to wait a little bit. For those of you that don't know, I am going to be at the Flagstaff Overland Expo West. Yes, that is coming up this coming weekend. So I hope to see you there if you're going to be there. Come find me. I'm Dave Anderson signing out. You guys be safe out there. And God bless.